hit me back, but he'll always do little slick shit. Game want her in some capacity, right? Yeah, but they try to act like huh. hey, look, they blah, blah, blah. wanted her, right? You said what? Twitter or not, who have some, they know about you and her, they should have some respect, or you going to deal with it on a case-by-case -case basis? Because I, I, I'm really thinking that this will be, this ain't the first or the last nigga who has mentioned that he ever wanted Ruby Rose at some point. Yeah, of course. But it's like, you know, that's just come with being with a pretty female. Like, niggas, if, even if it wasn't Ruby, if I was with another girl that was pretty, like, niggas going to always try to slide when they see a nigga with her. You know what I mean? So it's really like a case by case basis, but it's just all with this music shit. It's all about politicking and niggas be trying to click up and niggas choose who they want to respect. You know what I mean? Shit like that. So it's just, I just deal with it. It's just him in particular, bro. That nigga been on some shit. So I'm like, all right, bro, that's it. He hmm. been on some sneaky shit. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not the type of nigga to be like, you know, if a nigga hit my girl up, like, it's up to her to like Probably see her not her inbox. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's no, it's no. it's up it's up to her to to respect me. You know what I mean? It's not up to I understand if a nigga hit my girl up. I probably hit some niggas girls up when I was single. You know what I mean? I probably hit some niggas a nigga had a had a had a girl I DM or thought she was cute or some shit like that. But you know, if you get curved by a taking girl, you should just take that and move on from it. Not try to hoe her on live and and do all this other shit. The whole live was about her. He wasn't even speaking on me like that. He was talking about her the whole time. And I'm like, nigga, you on live talking about a female, bro. Were you offended how he talks about her? Because you know what I mean. They, yeah, bro. I'm not finna let no. Nigga, like, I'm not finna let no nigga speak on my girl. I don't give a fuck what her past is, nigga. Like you're not finna speak on her, and that's that's disrespecting me too. It's just not finna. It's not finna go down like that. So yeah. Smoke, man. Shit. It, it, uh, other than like, obviously you claim you want to see him, but like, yo, ain't no other way y'all could just like either talk it out, make some music about it. If if he if he like, wanna if he wanna squash anything, he ain't gotta squash it with me. He gotta publicly apologize to Ruby. So he, a apology for for calling out her name. He gonna he gonna apologize to my. I ain't disrespect this girl once. I ain't say shit about his girl one time. But he disrespected mine. I don't give a fuck, nigga, if you want her or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did an interview before talking about, ah, fuck, Ruby Roll, blah, blah, I'll let this shit slide. I'm like, okay, maybe that was before, blah, blah, blah. We a little rocky, we on and off. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to tweak out on it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But then now the nigga is, like, trying to hit her up on the side and all this other shit, bro. That shit is dead. Niggas already know I'm fucking with her, like, you got a whole female. What the fuck is you texting mine for? Yo, yeah, obviously, like, you know, as, as you keep going up, and he going up as well, but, like, you experiencing a lot of different shit, like, in a rap game right now. Like, obviously, this probably, like, yo, man, why, why would some shit happen? What's the weirdest shit you be seeing, like, just kind of happen that you're like, yo, either, either you feel like niggas is not giving you a proper due or you feel like you, you never expected this type of shit to happen. Uh, since you're in the game now? I mean, I just, me just being in this industry, I just realized, like, you really can't call everybody your homie. You can't call everybody your friend and shit. I don't take nothing personal no more. Like, a lot of this shit just be work. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just be peeping out who really genuine, who really don't need me in a situation that still fuck with me, and them the niggas that I consider being loyal to and genuine to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, a few niggas that I that I really fuck with in this industry that I met that's, that's honestly like a genuine person. A lot of these niggas fucked up in the they go Hollywood and they, they, they think they like better than somebody. What What's the biggest lesson you learned? Just don't take shit personal. Shit. Shit, I, I had to learn that. I mean, I still take shit personal. I'm a real personal type of guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I keep my business pretty personal, but, like, that's one thing I had to learn, um, like, along the way, like, the people you meet, you know, people going to fuck with you when they feel you up. When they feel like, you know, shit's looking rocky or everybody against you, they going to back off. That's just how the, it's the nature of the, it's the nature of the business, man. It's the nature of the business. If I had the number one song in the world. You'd have bad friends. I have every friend in the world. Like, no, 
Tusi would have shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? He would never went live with you. If I had the number one song in the world, that nigga would be DDG Squad best friend ever. You know what I mean? That's just how the industry works, which is sad. You know what I mean? Niggas is just, I don't need nobody. I'm good. Like, I came in the game with money. So it's like, I don't need nobody for money. I don't need nobody for fans, blah, blah, blah. I came in this motherfucker. I built my own shit. I became popular by myself. So it's like, when I fuck with somebody, it's not to use anybody. It's just because I genuinely probably admire your music or I just fuck with you as a person. It ain't got nothing to do with, like, me wanting something from you. But a lot of these niggas, they got a leech. Yo, what's the next level you think you gotta accomplish now? Because you you drop the you drop the project, you know you charted. I could imagine a little bittersweet, you know. You did like twelve k. Um, I think that's the person. Twelve point five. Oh, I gotta get a point five. I feel you. Yo, I think that's a good man. Look, I think that's a that's good a mixtape, by the way. That's a mixtape, not an album. Yeah. I think that's a good spot, but there's some people that that looks like yo. Yo, he's setting up for something bigger than some other people that say, yo, this, we only ever going to fuck with him for moonwalking in Calabasas. Like, that's the real hit, but everything else, he ain't never had nothing else since. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, no. well, I got to, nigga, the tape, Die for Respect, is with, with another producer. It's DDG OG Parker. It's me and his tape, joint tape. Me and him got a joint tape together. So... Um, nigga, it's every song on there is no skips. Like niggas really just, I think with me in my case, a lot of niggas feel like you ever had like a cousin or some shit like that that don't yeah. look at you as academics. He look yeah. at you as whatever your real name is. You know what I mean? So he had never yeah. look at you like you lit ass nigga with this big ass blog or no shit like that. I feel like a a lot of niggas that came up watching me on YouTube, they feel like they that cousin. So they don't want to look at me as this big artist. But in reality, like, my numbers is crazy. Like, niggas is not doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it's like, niggas are never, it's a lot. That's why I don't be caring about the little YouTube rapper shit. Because they always going to say that shit. Because they feel like they they know me on this crazy scale. Like, this is my cousin. This is my brother or some shit. Like, that nigga ain't famous in his rap shit. Blah, 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 this other shit. But in reality, bro, like, numbers don't lie at all. And I got more hits on that tape. Me and Corey yeah. got a smash. You about to you about to work that record? I, I think a lot of people wanted to see you work the the young boy record, but obviously locked up. You can't even get to the video, right? Yeah. But yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, you and Corey Ray. So what? Like I'm not. I don't even think the word single really means anything now. But it's just kind of like, what's your focus, or like what the fans be focusing on? Because like the, the music's already out. What's the next focus in terms of like you know records that you're gonna push? Impatient. Yeah. Yeah, impatient. I'm gonna get that out. We about to shoot the video, get that going crazy. Um it's going it's already got like hundred and fifty thousand videos on TikTok. Um so we're gonna shoot the video to that, phew, knock that out. And then I'm really shooting videos of every song. So that's the shit I'm on. Mm. Shooting videos of every song. Hey, y yo. Yo, I actually, I actually said this before. When you and Blueface gonna do like a little EP, bro? I gotta do like a little EP. We already working on it. We working on it already. We just gotta finish that motherfucker. Like I, I seen the uh the, the BGC track that just jumped out. You know what I mean? It always looked like mad. It looks like a new wave of just like it just it's fun. You know what I mean? It's like pool party summer. Yeah. Yeah, Blueface, my nigga. We got good chemistry, man. We just get in the stew. We working, motivate each other, and then we just create a fun whole visual around the whole song. Yo, yo, so we gonna come. We coming out with a take for sure. Shit, yo, who else you want to work with that you ain't work with yet? Like on your wish list. My wish list. I don't know, man. I ain't got no wish list for real. I just be fucking. fuck with niggas that fuck with me you know what i mean i really i like the rappers in the south i feel like the rappers in the south is, is is like i listen to a lot of like niggas from the south music like the whole atlanta um circle and shit i listen to all them niggas a lot so you know i'm gonna tap in with them yeah. and shit yeah. Play up og park 
in it though. What'd you say? How'd you link up with OG Parker to get that uh, tape done? We worked before, and then kind of like my label put it together. We was just in a room, and then we was just we just I used a lot of his beats and shit like that, and we was just working closely, and then we came up with the idea just to put the tape together. So he produced every song on the tape. Shit, that's what's up, man. Yo, yo, for me to you, and I always told you, man, like yo, I, I'm I'm acknowledging and 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 respecting and really admiring like your grind in terms of where you where you came from. Cause you said the new blueprint for like the new generation on how to make it, you know, like yeah, coming I'm really, I'm really paving the way for other niggas. Like everybody and their mama want to do YouTube. Like, I don't yeah. know why they be trying to down me, bro. Like every female on earth want to do YouTube. Yeah. Every single one of them. When you when you wait, when every nigga that's watching this live right now, when they open their phone, at some point in their day, they open the YouTube app. And I'm really like, when it comes to like music and shit. I'm paving the way for motherfuckers to actually cross over. Niggas do it from Disney Channel. Niggas cross over from fucking Nickelodeon. Niggas cross over from all types of TV shows all the time. The biggest rapper in the world crossed over from a wheelchair. You know what I yeah. mean? He crossed over from yeah. being a, a TV star. So it's like nobody, niggas is not crossing over from YouTube every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just like Ariana Grande, big ass artist. I know her as Cat. That's how I know. That's how I found out about her. Cat yeah. from Victorious. You know what I'm saying? So it's like niggas is niggas been crossing over from shit, but it's just like it's foreign from niggas to cross over from YouTube. Cause you can literally, bro, you can literally search up my whole life. You can search me up. You can see when I was in college. You can see when I was in Pontiac in the hood. Nigga, you can see when I got my first car. You can see everything. Bought my first house first foreign, all this other shit. Like, I documented all this shit. So it's like, niggas never did that before. So it's a whole different type of, it's a whole different type of crossover. So it's like, I feel like it's way more difficult because it's more personal. But the TV show, everybody knows it's fake. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a certain type of personality or persona. So it's easy for you to shake that. But it's not easy to shake a YouTube personality at all. Yeah, yeah nah, nah, bro. Like, I, I, I'm watching it and, and, and you're definitely creating a blueprint Yo, real quick before I get over this, because somebody said this to me and they said, yo, they said, did you see, they said, DDG, he about to be boxing. And they said, yo, would you ever, they asked me to answer for you, but I'm going to ask you, would you ever see like, you see like Jake Paul, like obviously Jake Paul does a bunch of stuff, but like, you know, now nigga been going crazy with the boxing. Would you ever think about boxing? You have some boxing, some experience, right? Would you, do you think you could beat Jake Paul in boxing? If, if yeah, I, think I, could be, I think I could beat anybody in boxing. 100%. But the only reason why I think I'm going to do this fight, right? I think I'm going to do this fight, and I'm and not going to do it again. Fight, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, this I think YouTuber. I'm going to just – yeah, that's the reason why. Like, I just want to get back to the music, but it's an undeniable bag. Like, I'm not dumb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not – I don't I don't come from <laughs> – I don't come from money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so it's like yo, if, a nigga, if a nigga is – if a nigga showing me all this money, I'm I'm gonna take it. I would be dumb not to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this boxing shit, and then I'm gonna just get back to the music. You know yeah. what I mean? So I said, listen, this fight, I want you to win and win it in impressive fashion. But this is what you can't do. You can't get slept like like Nate Robinson. You get slept like Nate Robinson is gonna be back. You the, get difference is, the difference between me and Nate Robinson is I know how to box. <laughs> I, 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 I've, been, I've been boxing before. I used to box as a kid, all this other shit. So I know what I'm doing. Like, me getting <laughs> slept, I don't, that's not it. The worst that can happen is to go to the decision and I win. That's the absolute worst <laughs> that can happen. There's absolutely no way that I'm going to get slept or none of that shit. I'm in here working all the time, man. Oh shit! You got you, you got you got the whole box. You pretty much got boxes. I got the I got right. the home shit, man. I got the home shit. Oh shit! I got uh, it, I got it all at my disposal at you know, the basement and shit. Yo, you know you know why that's dope? Because yo yo yo, we in twenty twenty one. This is what I'm talking about creating a blueprint, right? Like yo, being a rapper, and that's why I like I like how this even the pandemic has shown people you don't got to just do the same five regular things. Go do a show. Go drop an album. Do this, do that. Yo, 
you could do a lot with your famous celebrity. You, you get me? And you could actually open up new doors and new avenues to make more money and like you know make more businesses. So you know, I I, I fuck with the fact that you're actually gonna you know hop in the ring, even if it's a one time thing. Get back, drop an album, probably rap about beating that nigga's ass. That's just lit. Yeah, nah, uh, nigga, I ain't I ain't turning down no bags. So you know these other niggas can, but it's it's just I'm really passionate about music. That's why I sacrifice shit to do it. So it's like, you know, I want to, that's my main focus right now. But I ain't turning it off. Was you and Ruby making tape? Like, a music tape? <laughs> yeah, I mean, me and Ruby got probably, we got one song finished. We really don't be making no music together at all. That'll so. be beef, no shade room, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, man, it, you know, it's a, sometimes it be like that, you know? Yo, yo, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm be out in LA like next week. Hit me, bro. Pull up to the crib. Come hoop. You know how to hoop? Yeah, I got to see the crib because I seen that shit on YouTube and I said that shit looks extravagant. I know you're remodeling that shit for a minute. I like Hell, it. Yeah. Nah, I've been, I remember remodeling this shit for a year, but you know, it's all finished now. I got the studio, basketball court, gym, you know, shit that I bought. Do you recall most of the? This is the last shit I'm gonna ask you. I get off here because this sounds like an interview now. Yo, you, you record mo mostly at the crib or like you go to a studio? Because I can imagine. I've been, I record you know. mostly at the crib now. I got my shit set up right, so I be at the crib. I just be in this motherfucker cooking up. So I think that's the the most comfortable way to do it. Yeah. All right, all right, man. Yo, listen, yo, yo, yo when I'm in the lane next month, yo, we gonna link, yo. You know, every time we do it's always good vibes, yo. And and that's why I fuck with you. Like, like you in person, you online, it's the same type of energy I've always seen. I don't see no fake shit. I see like a, like somebody who honestly just it's a good dude. So, you know, that's why I always fuck with you. I try to show you love. And as you keep rising, you know, I, I'm I'm always glad that, you know, my platform can help support you because now, you know, again, you in the big leagues now. Feel me? Yeah, I'm I'm up there with the big hitters, man. Of course, man. But I right, man, yo, enjoy your life, bro. I'm about to hop off this shit real quick. All right. All right.